You might be saying to yourself, whoa, there are so many ways to make my cloud infrastructure clear and easy to understand. But wait, there's more. As you work to visualize the information you need to see from your infrastructure, you can also change the layout of the diagram. First, you'll open up the contextual panel. In this window, you'll see two things. A data section that shows all the metadata associated with sections and resources in your model, and the option to change the layout of resources in your model. Once the panel is opened, go ahead and select the area of the model you want to change. You can change the layout of an area as big as the account, subscription, or project level, or as small as a specific resource type. Doing this will allow you to see the metadata from your cloud provider for the selected resource in the panel. From here, click Layout Settings to start adjusting the layout of the selected resource type. You can change the entity alignment, or you can toggle on or off the group contained item by type. Note, if you decide to turn off group contained items by type, you can sort by the property you need in the contained items section of this window. Next, you can change the layout style in the resource you have selected keeping in mind that all layout changes you make to one resource type will apply to all other identical resources in the model. Another useful tool when visualizing your cloud environment is being able to adjust the layout of the contained items. If you decide to toggle on group contained items by type, your first option will be to decide the number of columns for your resources. You can then add horizontal or vertical spacing to provide room between resources for greater clarity. For certain shapes, you'll see non-container resources. When editing the layout of these shapes, you will see a final option to have non-container items be fixed to a certain column number. Now, if you select a specific resource in your model, the visual tools in the contextual panel will show specific display options for this resource. One that is helpful for documentation will be the ability to summarize the selected resource type. Meaning, if you select an EC2 instance and toggle this on instead of seeing all EC2 instances individually, you will see one with the number of how many there are in this container. You also can turn on and off where this resource is placed in the region or VPC it is hosted in. The final tool in your layout tab will be text fields. This tool can help you take away the pain of constantly taking the time to look up specifics from your cloud provider. This drop-down menu will allow you to add any text field to a container or resource you need to visualize. Note, the information shown in this drop-down menu reflects what is pulling from your cloud provider. Remember, you can always select the resource and go back to the data tab to view what data was pulled from your provider to understand what you can visualize. Also worth noting, as you make changes to your diagram layout, adding lines and turning on and off resources, all these changes will automatically save to the view you have created. No need to select a save button. And if you ever need to create a view similar to this one, you can duplicate this view by going back to the view dropdown menu and duplicating. Being able to change the layout can help you and your team start to gain even faster insights into your cloud infrastructure. Now that you know how to see information you need, check out the next video to learn how you can dive deeper into your architecture through filtering and conditional formatting rules.